is uh, we've got a fantastic night in store. Most of all for me, because I get to see every favourite band. So it's 50 years with the collection. Jimmy and the revolvers are hurling down the A580 trying to get here. They should be here about quarter past eight, so I've just held up for a few minutes with it before I started. It's a problem when you've got 280 songs to play, all the ones that people like, so I've done a kind of a K-Tel version here, so if there's anything you recognise, please feel free to throw tomatoes. Oh dear. And also we have the fantastic Lua Bodies. Thank 
nervous, Luke. They, they, they're really nervous, Luke, to go, ooh. So, and we also have the fantastic Louis bodies. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <coughs> As you can see, I have a nice frog, but I'll do my best. So I'll do a little, um, I'll do a little collection of tunes that you may or may not know. You say you've got a letter from a friend you should know better. Didn't even dare to sign a letter. She says, don't want to hurt you. She says, she feels she must tell you that she saw me playing out while you're away.
Did not lose a month. There's a girl by the wall in the room across the hall and it's all down to And uh, suddenly I find, oh my word, they're all relevant again. And uh, sorry, no you win. Um, sorry. <laughs> so um, there's some called the fall, and I made an album. Well, I made a few, but only very few. And the fall is an album of, of, of songs that haven't been kind of. Well, our house has been on and some of the songs that are on the other, it's just over there if you want to buy a copy. This is a sales pitch. Because this, this is how we eat. Yeah, but there you go. But, uh, of course, that's Raymond Yu, like in here in the distance. He, you know, he's smiling and great haircut. Santa is here, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Raymond Yu is here. 
Please give a round of applause. And I believe Alicia's here. Oh, you said she is. My sister's here. So, the difficult decision is to play some songs that you might want to hear. And there's a couple of things on there which um, hopefully Gaynor Wilson will record this at some point. Don't go there. It's a beautiful place. Don't go there. But a dangerous space. Don't go there. You think that you're right. You're wrong. She'll be catching the next along. Don't go there. Don't you answer the phone. Don't go there. Are oh, you better stay home? Don't go there. Johnny is me, Johnny is you, 
Johnny's a gentile, he's an Arab and a Jew. Every one of us is walking a plank, but it was gonna be a time for the big fella. Oh, look out here, come the fall. kinds of songs. They only say one of three things. They either say stop fighting, love each other, or let's dance. And that just about covers it for me. So uh, this is a love song. About 
seven shillings short of a train ride home. I always do my best, but that's not what she She finds me She finds me is love why are you here you should be out there dancing a crying tear after tear well he said you're the best but he treats you like the rest for by now you might have guessed this is not love this is love He's heading for the sun This is not love To me, he's a clown, but to you, he wears the crown. And every time he lets you down, you think it's love. You think it's love. You think it's love. But it's not love. This is not love. Uh, all right, let's take a problem. 
ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Linda Pagnini. Yeah. Who wrote this wonderful song and many others? No pressure. <laughs> Still got a mouthful of coconut macaroon. Where's mine? I have brought sweets, by the way. They're on the windowsill. Please don't be nervous to come and get yourselves a sweet. There are some chocolate limes. Oh, I couldn't get, you know, you know, I went everywhere. I couldn't, I could not buy any jelly babies. But I have got some spearmint twists. Oh, thank you for that great welcome. There are chocolate eclairs. Yay! And of course, there are all sorts. Yay! And no pinching the coconut ones. I like the look of this myself. Oh, what is it? Damn the torpedoes, as the famous hey, album said. Thank you, thank you. John Betty. Look at torpedoes, that's a sweet. Thin arrowroot biscuits. Now, what was that all about? I've got time to take my coat off of notice. <laughs> well, what's, 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 can anybody explain to me? what thin arrowroot biscuits are like because I think they're the sweepings from all the other biscuits and then pressed together and so these are really good for you but apparently they're very good for ladies who are with child so give your hands up for the wonderful thing there. I have license to do this tonight because it's my, first, my last time, so I can do what I want tonight. Well, not what I want, really. Show a little faith, put a little trust 
I'm gonna play the queen of hearts. Chance is gone, it's you and me. fantastic tune. Well, if she's going to tell me which key, that's a good, that's because I've not done this for about 15 years. But I have to say, I love this man. So what's happened? You know, you know yes. what, Deborah, you know, one of the things that really amuses me about people, you can have an enormous piece of spaghetti in your teeth, right? And you talk to maybe 16 people that day. And later on in the mirror, you know that they know, that you know that they knew but you had it there all the time. Why don't you just tell them and say, hey, George, you've got a piece. So my friend Deborah had a little bit of um, horse feathers in the back there. So. <laughs> One of the greatest voices of all time. One of the greatest ever to come out of Manchester. Certainly for me. Do you know I'm the luckiest man in the world? Can you imagine that all those fantastic songs have been written People honour me to sing some of mine. Please listen to it. Unbelievable. It's dead and wrong. Come and 
show their feelings to me. in this one. <laughs> it's an honour. It was worth the hellish drive from London. <laughs> How lucky am I? How lucky am I? I'll tell you what. All these folks, all these talented people that just need Somebody to say, when I was a boy, my mum used to, my mum took me to the East End of the Lots, we used to go to the picture drawing in Stretton. 
And I remember watching this film called The Great Caruso. Anybody heard me say this story before? Okay, yeah, let's see The Great Caruso. And as you know, it was Mary Lanza's big favorite of the ladies in the 50s. And uh, eventually he was asked to go and sing at the Metropolitan in New York. And he turned up and of course he got on stage to sing. And when he finished his, his first solo piece, you know, his aria, and he was taking a bow, the audience stopped clapping while he was still on the stage. In opera, that's about as, you're supposed to be in the dressing room and then a glass of wine, you know, and he's still clapping. So he was kind of, you know, he's got his suitcase and he's off home. And the manager of the, um, the opera, you know, said, no, no, Enrico, no, please don't go. You're the greatest tenor we've ever had. Believe me, I've heard them all. And his leading lady is, is, is Mr. Soprano said, no, please don't go, please don't go. They said, no, I've got to go back because they hate me. I said, no, just sing one more night. So they said, so he agreed to sing for one more night. And he turned up and the crowd are coming in. A fantastic lesson for me about how to be. And all of a sudden there's this great roar from the crowd. And he opens the curtains. And there, going into a box on the left-hand side, I remember it was the left-hand side, <laughs> was the tenor that he was taking over from who'd been singing there for 20 years. And he's like nervous now. So anyway, it comes to the point and he sings. And they're all set, they're shouting up to the stage, come back, come back, we need you to sing for us, we need you, you're the greatest. So Enrico sings, and the crowd are sauce bottles. <laughs> As you know, you performers, you know what sauce bottles are, don't you? And what happens is, the tenor stands up to clap, and the entire audience stands up to clap. Please clap. Turns me on with his smile. He turns me on all the night. I walked and I walked, I walked and I ran. Turns me on 
of you ever went up the right hand side of me at the bar? You've never been to one of my shows, have you, son? What happens is you have to sing, especially if you have to pay to get in. So, for the last time, I'll read out the words. I'm sure I don't need to now, you all know me. Here we go. opportunity but I just like to say four words to George. George thank you for everything. I love you. I love this man. He's real he's what music music's about. It's been a great night and I love everyone. Everyone's been brilliant. Yeah. Uh, one more George and then I'll bug off. What a surprise it's another blues again sorry.
Okay, I've got one song to do for Karen. Uh, this is a song uh, I wrote about a friend of mine. This is called uh, I Actually, really don't know what it's about. Though. It's a long time ago and we're not here. This is called Subterfuge.
Special thanks to uh, my nephew Stephen Dunn who's been coming since he was a little boy. Thanks Stephen, you're a totter.
too late The cards have spoken No hearts, just space This time And the joker's not joking, but it's gonna be great next time around when we're together. together. John, do you need a new level for this? It's, it's up and running now. Thanks very much. Well, sorry for the uh, small interruption. For
to walk home through Moss Side, through Rushall, through Wally Range. Why? Because 99.99% .99 of people are absolutely sound and you have forgotten all the fantastic things you've done. You quickly remember the few things you could have done better. But believe me, you are the reason why you are here. To me, I'd like you to be able to walk home alone. Count 
your losses as a lesson and your winning as a double blessing those who think they know are only guessing there is a spirit go now. No, we have to go now. There is a curfew here and I don't want to lose John and Hillary, their gig. Thank you so much for the 50 years. You've been amazing. Thank you, thank you. It is your spirit. No, we can't do it. can't do it. But we've done what we can, eh? We've done our best. Please put your hands together for Mr. J. Rem, who came on his own without his band and sang for us tonight. And the wonderful, 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 wonderful Louis Maddies. Maybe. Well, well, well. <laughs> Miss Deborah Malone, what about that? <laughs> you know, I usually finish with different songs, but tonight this is what we finish with. Like I said, I only ever played two songs. Stop fighting. Love each other. Let's dance. You are the only version of you that's ever going to be. I never had a problem with any of you at all. Just remember all the things that you've done. Because when they count up, mate, over the things you might have done better, it'll be ten times the size of this house. Because you are loved. Please put your hands together for the ever smiling, fantastic mum, Miss Gables. together and wave bye bye till you see him with all the other people he plays with.
Mr. Andy Burns. Fantastic. <laughs> And I should mention before she moves away from my side, Dana is an extraordinary songwriter. She comes and plays just on a piano sometimes. It's absolutely extraordinary. It will bring you to smiles and tears. And she plays with a fabulous band called Fissy Eclectic. Do get to see them when you can. Oh, who's that in the corner there? It's too small. If you take my 